I've got to change the pivot lugs on this digger bucket. So I've just cut the original ones off. The, the holes in the lugs were worn and the lugs weren't quite in the right place for my little digger. So I've got them cut off. And I've got it cleaned up, ready to put some new ones on. I'm going to be making some new ones the same as the ones on that bucket. So now I'm going to make a template to get the shape. That's the template made. So now I need to cut a piece of steel, two pieces, that shape. Getting the pivot bosses made to weld on to the lugs. Got those three finished. Just finishing the fourth one off. I've got the bosses finished. Now I need to get the two lugs made. And then I shall weld these onto the lugs. I've got a steel plate here about 12 and a half mil thick. That's what I'm going to make the lugs out of. I'll get one out of there. <coughs> Another one out of there. I'm going to start by cutting um, Putting a hole through here to form that shape. And I'll cut another hole through here. I'll cut the holes first and then I shall mark the um, steel out. I've got those two holes cut through the plate and I've got the lugs marked out where they need to be cut. I don't have a plasma cutter so I'll be cutting these straight edges with a angle grinder cutting disc And these two curves here, this one and that one, have got to be accurate. So I might cut those two with a jigsaw. I've managed those two cuts with the jigsaw. Now I need to use the angle grinder with the cutting disc. Cut these straight cuts out. Got those cut out. Just need to round these corners off. And drill the holes. I've got the lugs all uh, rounded off, cut to shape. And 
I need to drill the holes and to get them uh, the same I think I'll tack weld these plates together put a tack weld there another one here tack weld the two plates together another tack weld around the back here somewhere and then when I drill through they'll be identical there's also a peg needed on one of the plates in between the holes a peg that sticks up about an inch 25mm That's the two plates tack welded together and the holes drilled. 25.4mm on these two. This gives a bit of clearance for the 25mm pins that go through. Be a peg welded here about 25mm long. And one on the other plate as well. So the next job is to get these bosses welded on. I'll weld those on while they're still while the two plates are tack welded together, um, and that'll stop any distortion. There's the two pegs made. I've made those out of stainless steel. I had some offcuts lying around. So they'll get pressed through. And drilled for the clip to go through. And they'll get welded on the other side. That's the bosses tack welded into place. I'll get those welded up and then these pegs get welded in from the other side. To weld the pegs in I'll have to cut these tack welds and then these get pressed in from the other side and the end of the peg will be welded here. That's the bosses fully welded. I've used a TIG welder to weld those. So I let that cool down and then I'll get these tack welds cut. Separate the plates and get the pegs welded in. I've got those loads completed. Locking pegs. The clip to go through. I've made some spaces to to line them up. Next job is to get them welded onto that bucket. I've got those lugs tack welded to the bucket, but before I fully weld them, I'm going to try it on the digger, make sure I've got the clearances right. I've got the bucket on.
that's the job finished. I'll put a coat of paint on this top half. There's no point in painting the whole bucket. That's the bucket painted. I've only painted the top section, there's no point in painting it all. That's one job I've got to do, got to move all that soil, another pile over there. Also need to build a drive up down there. 